हेलो प्रोफेसर इग्नासी एंड अमरनाथ टू टी वी जी एम ई वेम इज़ ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एरिया एंड आई सी दैट यू नो लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज विच आर कमिंग इन सो आई वुड लाइक टू फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम यू दैट वाई वेम इज इम्पॉर्टेंट नाउ एंड हाउ डज इट हेल्प द ऑर्गनाइजेशन बीम इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इन ऑल द वर्ल्ड इज इम्पॉर्टेंट BIM is a building information modeling, and what we do is to try to make in 3D our infrastructure and our buildings in order that we can um, we can have a uh, perfect idea of what we will build after, uh, how we can think in smart cities if we do not have smart infrastructures and smart buildings. So BIM is something that right now is essential in order to. to manage and to make the maintenance and the operation of our infrastructure of the yeah okay so this association of bim which you have created and amanath as i understand that we have in india also you know this so how is this proliferation happening so is it worldwide the there is a bim association or for india we have specific when we say beam association uh, there are many countries uh, which which have already understand the benefits of beam and they they have coming together like the engineers contractors uh, builders and real estate public procurement so they come together and form the associations and already more than 15 countries have this kind of associations and now mm, two years ago we realized that we need such association to bring together because in india is like we have indian institute of architects or engineers or contractors builders fm but how about having them together because when we need to deliver projects we call it as integrated project delivery and you want everyone to coordinate communicate and collaborate together to de- give a successful project to the client the first thing is um, we need to understand each other and this is a kind of society which can help them bring together and bim is such a technology and workflow which can uh, help in sharing the information among these people and which can be benefit them in different analysis process so i think that's the major purpose we have this association okay so how do you <coughs> work on this bim education do you work with the colleges or it's a post uh, you know when we say india bim association we focus on four areas one is education and training second is for policy development and the third is for maturity assessment and certifications and fourth is for organizing events and summit so that we can spread the word of bim for people to get to know the benefits of it when they adopt it for projects so the first and most foremost important thing is education and training so when we say education and training um, it should be at the academics at the university level and also for the industry level because when we say most of the indian companies so they are using bim they are providing bim services to the global market but we need to know what is the level of bim required in the global sector to be more competitive in the global sector and when we say bim education we are now working uh, in discussions with the universities including iits nits and other local universities to bring in some curriculum changes for architectural mechanical electrical civil real estate sector construction management so there is a need for um, multidisciplinary education rather than saying okay you 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 are a architect and you need to learn a bim that doesn't mean that you need to sit alone and learn it you need to work with other di- discipline students and to know about the real projects and work together to get a better understanding on the real projects so that's what we are thinking about having some multidisciplinary curriculum which can bring together this kind of different discipline students and they get a better understanding on what is required okay very interesting you know so i'm just trying to understand more so suppose if we design a building and which is we say it's a green building and we have a good facade you know where the lot of light coming in so the company which is providing the automation on the lighting can actually use that data which is coming from the facade and then create the you know lighting accordingly no, not actually it has to use it has to yeah yes because in fact 
uh, BIM is a process that is covering all the life cycle of a building or, or uh, one infrastructure. So this means that from the owner or the developer that is thinking about to do something, till the architect, the engineer that is designing this, and the builder, the contractor, the providers, etc., and the people that are making the facility management or the set management, all of them are joining us, uh, as Amanda was saying before, in the same process. So all of this information that there is in this model, in this 3D model, is something that everybody has to use in order that it can that take the maximum profit of, of all of the work that all together we have done. So it is directly connected, but it's also something that is necessary if you want to make something about uh, Internet of Things, that is something that is colliding with, with this model. Do we have a cases in India you know, where the BIM has been used? Yeah. There, there are many projects recently, the clients understand the benefits of BIM and they want to adopt it. For example, uh, Nagpur Metro and most of the times mm, we see that there are many infrastructure projects adopting it because in India you, you can see that there are a lot of construction happening in terms of smart cities, infrastructure projects. But uh, the thing is mm, to know about how better you use the BIM, it's not just for design stage but how you take it forward for construction tracking, monitoring and for handing over the project to the client and how that can be used for FM and so on. So these are all very important and and the, the thing is uh, if the clients need to know about the benefits and it's very important work for the AEC industry people to make it clear to the client okay how you can make use of this. It's not just taking the BIM information during the handover stage and keep it, keeping it themselves but how better they can use that is the theme. Oh, I think it's a very good concept. Yes, yeah, so I, I think we have to do it because, in fact, right now in one year more or less, we have 30,000 members. Wow. That's you know, so number. it's something that that it will be a, a massive move in the country. The way we form the committees in the association, like we have four areas, so we bring in the experts from different countries, like uh, Professor Ignacy is into European BIM Summit, he is the director for it and he is specialized in organizing BIM summits and we know the experts. For example, for public policy making, we have an executive director from Building Smart who make the policies for the global market. And for example, for uh, maturity assessments, we have an expert from Stanford University who developed the maturity certification. So we have um, brought in the global sector expertise. So we're trying to work on all these aspects to get it further. In fact, we can say that this is an association of experts. Yeah. So we have to work together. Yeah. Good. Nice thoughts. Thank you very much for Thank sharing you. your thoughts You're and welcome. sharing your ideas.